Hello everybody. So we're going to continue on with The Magician this week. I wrote in the um, entry that's on Facebook about um, my funny circumstance of skipping over this card last week. I just think that's hysterical. But it's so meaningful because on November 11th, we will have um, the magical new moon in Scorpio, which is all about embracing masculine and feminine energies to come to a better place of full integration of who we really are. So I just want to briefly give an overview about the magician. You'll see here um, the infinity symbol is something that is present on both of these cards. It's, it's part of the artwork for the magician. Um, he really is the first figure that the free spirit encounters on his journey. So not the high priestess, as I put up last week. Um, she's really the second figure that is encountered. Um, but for our journey, the magician is powerful this week. So that infinity symbol plus the lush abundance around him. You see money on the table. That's the pentacle. Uh, the cup is emotional aspects. The wands um, and the sword, it's like taking action, your thoughts, all of that. So it's like all pieces. Those are all the suits of the tarot, the pentacles, the wands, the cups, and the swords. And so he's got all of that at his disposal. And then a scepter, a crystal scepter in his hand. And he's just got command of everything he needs. And this is also seen in the Doreen Virtue version of the card here. And you see the message, you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. So, um, and in what I love about Doreen Virtue, if you look at his belt buckle or tie, whatever you want to call it, it's got all of the um, elements of the earth. That's what I love about her cards. So, um, with this card, we're just being asked to really bring forth um, powerful masculine and feminine energy levels. We have both. And to me, it's signified by this um, infinity symbol that the masculine and feminine energies work together in combination. And sometimes we get a little out of balance. Sometimes we're a little too pushy. Or sometimes we're a little bit more receptive and kind of maybe people walk all over you or you're just too emotional or it can go to one side or, or the other. But the infinity symbol really calls us to bring these into this balance and flow where as the feminine energy comes forward, you are taking, um, you're noticing things in your environment you're believing that things come into your path that are completely meaningful and helpful to lead you to your highest good and to what's next for you. And as you're, you bring that awareness to your environment, you notice the people, the situations, the things that happen, the signs you see, like when I put up the hearts and things like that on my Facebook, you're just noticing everything that comes. And then notice with masculine energy coming in, that second part of the loop, um, how you use those ideas to take inspired action. So this week, what I want you to think about is becoming this magician figure here and knowing that you can just by intention and definitely with this new moon energy on Wednesday, November 11th, this new moon in Scorpio, that energy will be with us for the next 28 days after the 11th. So it's all about bringing these two energies into balance. And when you do, this magician energy really comes forward for you, um, where you can take the energies of the universe and create what it is you're looking for in your life. So perhaps making some wish list items, um, and I'm not talking necessarily about material things, though that's great too. I'm also talking about situations, people, really meaningful, like how do you want to feel? How do you want things to be with your family? How do you, how do you want this all to go? 
And then think about times in your life when you have taken um, notice of something in your environment or somebody has suggested a book to you or somebody prompted you, geez, you should really look into this training or that training, that type of thing. You were prompted by your environment or by an inspired idea that came to you through your intuition um, or as you were reading something, noticing something. And then how did you take action? And then what happened? When you take inspired action, it just about always works out good. If it doesn't work out good, then that is meant to be an experience of its own. That, no, I got to change gears a little bit or the timing isn't right. Um, but those two energies, when they line up, the feminine and masculine, and you're taking the uh, external inspiration from your environment and what you're experiencing and then putting it into action, that's when magic happens. That's magician energy coming through. So that's what I suggest that we all um, journal on this week is how could we bring more of that to our life and to take a look back at are there times in your life when you did that and what was the result and maybe that will spur you to in, to embrace that energy balance more often it could be a really nice protocol for your life so thanks very much and next week we will meet the empress journey on folks